Hello there, this is techvid.tk once again with your host iTech63 and today's tutorial will be on Adobe Fireworks and I know what you're thinking, we've already done a Adobe Fireworks tutorial and there's where you're wrong, we are going to be using Adobe Fireworks CS4 and we're going to be creating our own custom YouTube background ok so I'm just going to show you my one and this was created on Adobe Fireworks CS4 as you can see down the side it has the um, what's it called diagonal stroke effect and it's a linear and I love this background bit what I made and up here it has like a granite effect and if you scroll down it just fades out into black with all my other details um, and this is an entirely new logo what I made saying iTech 63 um, as you may remember before it did just say BC tutorials but now I've decided to make a different one so we're not only going to be creating our own YouTube template we're also going to be making a logo ok so open up Fireworks CS4 or you can email me if you haven't got CS4 email me and I will send you the link with all the with a lot of codes okay so if this box doesn't appear when you open fireworks just go up to file and new and the width and height because we're going to be creating our logo first so we always set the width and height to 500 by 500 <coughs> and they must be on pixels and I always have the resolution set to 72 pixel inch and the canvas colour as white so here it is ok so now if we just get our selection tool on our shapes and I'm just going to be using an ellipse tool today as always and we're just going to create a an ellipse or a circle and we're just going to make this a bit just put this straight into the centre ok so that fits just perfectly so now if we select this and um, we can change the colours so first of all I want a black outline so here where it has the pencil image just select the box next to it and with the eyedrop tool just select the colour and I want a black outline just next to that it has a number you can change that by either typing in a number or next to it it has a little uh, um, arrow pointing downwards and then a scroller I always set my outline to be about a 3 so I'm just going to scale this down just a tad as you cannot see all of the lines make sure you scale it from diagonal otherwise it will go disproportional and the thing I love about fireworks CS4 is it shows you the alignments of everything every time we move a shape ok so now we can just select this again and change the um, over here if you're using CS4 which is good the styles have changed if we click on styles go to current document and I'm going to use dark chrome styles and here it has really cool ones I like this one here as you may have seen this is the effect I use for the background the one I use for my logo though is on I think chrome styles is it it's around this somewhere um, it could be plastic styles no. oh this one's also quite cool I also like the red one on the plastic styles it's four for long this one's alright if you're using red um, uh, diagonal styles and this is the one I use for my logo or this one actually I think it's this one here let's just have one look yes it looks like it is this one here as you, can see, you may not be able to see it um, so I'll just zoom in as you can see the um, these dots are very close together so if we just copy this now by pressing ctrl c on our keyboard and pressing ctrl v to paste it and now press q on our keyboard 
or go up to the scale tool over here and just scale it down just a little bit remember go from the corner as it doesn't disproportionate, disproportionate. and we're going to change the outline to a black again and we're going to change the colour to a plastic style um, if I can see a plastic style and I'm going to use this red this time and yes that fits just about right and now since we've copied it we can paste it in again so as you can see it's, it always goes to the top layer and we're just going to select this and press Q on our keyboard to get the selection, the scale tool up scale it down just a bit more than it was the set for first scale to down and as you can see there it is and we can insert some text saying um, you can't see this at the moment as it's a oh maybe you can sorry for it going a bit slow so if we just select our text down here it has the number type tool or you can just use the scroll arrow it goes up to 96 um, so if you want it if you want it to all fit in you can just make the box bigger by select, just making sure once you do that if you're making the box bigger you, the cursor must be go white and that means it's ready to change the um, text tools colors have also changed there's text web styles which are ok and yeah they look, that looks ok so now if we s highlight it all like this and press F8 on our keyboard or go up to modify symbol convert to symbol uh, select the type as graphic and I'll just call it tutorial and then down on the options panel just um, check save to common library you can just press save and it will save as a JPEG and if it disappears that's ok ok so now I'm just going to go to my fireworks folder and I'm going to drag in my previous template which I made um, my previous background as this is the perfect size wait one second no, I don't want to save this, so you have to close that, drag in your template, which will be in the description, or if you've watched my previous tutorial on this from CS3, I think the background image may be on there. So now, as you can see, it's too big, you can't see it all. So just go up to View and Fit All, or press Control 0 on your keyboard. Okay, the reason I've got these buttons bars down the bottom are as you may see on um, mine just so it can fade out because if I didn't have these it would just it wouldn't look as good so these bars are the perfect size so if you want to delete them just select the marquee tool under the bitmap section or press M on your keyboard and just draw a box it's best to have it over the size um, under the size then over then you can delete it but apparently my one doesn't look like it wants to delete but as you can see I, I can just delete all of this and delete all of this this is a separate image um, so what I'm going to do is make a box the same size as this before I do anything so select the rectangle tool or press M on my keyboard this and if I just send this to back right click and go to arrange send to back or press control shift and down on your keyboard and now we can just delete this front image um, we can change the color palette of this and we could have it anyone we wish I'm gonna have it in wood styles I think so what this looks like I've never actually seen properly the wood styles 